What they do, bro? That nigga chilling, dog. You know how it is. <laughs> you already know. Time, one day at a time. You already know, yeah, bro. They trying to get to it. Yeah, man. State mm -hmm. your name, bro. What's your name and who are you, bro? And uh, what you represent? You know what I'm saying? That's G Stat. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I represent DVD. You know? DVD. What does that stand for, bro? Let the people know. We got, we got, you know, we kind of let the people know. We kind of let the people pick the name sometimes, but you know what I'm saying? You got clothing brand is dope beyond definition. Mm -hmm. You know, we know we always doing business daily. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, we always, you know, it's always that before design. It's definitely you know that before design. At the end of the day, bro. through it all. It's definitely stay definitely. Stay that dope. We're going to stay dope beyond definition, but always remember. You know, is that before the honor? All really? day long, bro. Mm -hmm. All day long, bro. So, bro, let's take them back from the beginning, man. Yeah. You know, talk about yourself. You know your upbringing, bro. Yeah, man. You know, but I, I was born here. Uh -huh. but you know how it is. Like, I don't know if everybody know how it is in the island, especially like, you know, we from Bimini. Mm -hmm. That's in the Bahamas or whatever, you know. But, you know how it is over there. Like, you know, I was born here, but I grew up over there. But I really grew up in like, in Freeport. Grand Bahama, that's another island, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, even from the islands or whatever, like, I think my generation in the islands kind of, like, shift the tide from reggae to rap. Like, it was my generation. Like, you know, I had an older brother, you know, he was, he was, he was a reggae. He was, he was all about reggae. My dog. You know what I'm saying? He was all about reggae. So, my you dog. Know, and, like, you know, we will talk about him later on. Yeah, so, you know, you know, he always, like, we always had a, had a problem when when it comes to music, he on he want he want to listen to rap. I mean, he want to listen to reggae. I want to listen to rap. You know what I'm saying? Not knocking reggae because I love it to this day, but it's because of him. Indeed, you understand right. what I'm saying? But like you know, I, I grew up like like out the gate. Like I was a big I was like I was a big Hot Boys fan. Indeed, like, out the gate. Like like you know, I think if if my if my mama wouldn't have killed me. For getting a tattoo or something, I think I might have had Know Your Boy right here. <laughs> you know, that, that was like that, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I was really influenced. Like, that was, that, that was like a big influence to me, you know? Who was your favorite hot boy, bro? Mm. It had times. Yeah, all right. Uh, it, all right. It, you know what I'm saying? But it, it ultimately became Lil Wayne. But all right, all right. Indeed. Out Indeed. the gate, out the gate, um, it was juvenile out the gate. Juvie out the gate, huh? Juvie out the gate. Yeah, it was Mine was BG out, out the gate. Yeah, but then right, see, like, right. You know, being from the island, uh -huh. like, you probably got more of the, but we couldn't reach at the time. Indeed. You get what I'm saying? So I grew to like, I grew to like BG through Juvie. Uh -huh. But then I grew to understand, I grew to understand, like, but BG was kind of like the man in the streets first. Indeed. You know, Indeed. and then I grew to love, so it was like, you know, yeah. But tell us, tell us about the life in the island, bro. What was it like? Growing up as a real life island boy, bro. Boy, Tell us what that yeah, was it, like, bro. It, it, was, it was different, man. Like you know, you know, like we grew up like in, we, we grew up in, in love with like planes and boats, man. Like, okay. You know, small planes and, and boats, like you know, in, in the island, like you know, everybody like when we was growing up, man. We the teacher teaching and everything. Not saying like everybody did their lesson and everything. Like don't get me wrong, you know what I'm saying. But we everybody could tell you from where we from, man. Like. We all we, we we used to draw uh, uh, speed boats with helicopters chasing it. Like that was our inspiration growing up. Like like to be honest with you, it, it, it's it's not always like something like to be preaching or whatever. But that's just that's that's the that's just what it was. Okay. You know? Okay. You know what I'm saying? So like, but uh, growing up in the island it was different, man. We had we 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 I feel as though like we had a lifestyle like everybody kind of like chase. Like you know what I'm saying? Yo, like, what do you mean by that, bro? Elaborate on that a little bit more. Cause like I feel like. Like, all right, I'm not knocking no lifestyle or anything, but like, if you was to get, like, if you was to be established, mm -hmm. and, like, in America or whatever, like, you know, if you was to get established, like, and 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 you in a, and you in a good enough space, like, like, won't you like move to Miami? Indeed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Like, won't your dream be to like live on the water? For sure. Like, you For understand sure. What I'm saying. So like, it's kind of like, you know, we we grew up with that, with that type of. It was like like it was like a it's a different type of I don't wanna call it I don't know if it's a balance or an imbalance. What you wanna call it? Like, you know what I mean? I say this, I got a partner who got deported back to Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Right? So you know he said that life was rough for him over there. 
But I was like, nigga, you on the beach every day, nigga. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you yeah. Know, you know? Cause it's like two sides, like the water right. right there and the good lifestyle right there. But then everything else that happened in between is Indeed. right over there at the same time. You know Indeed, what I'm saying? It's like, it's like over there. It's like the, the good thing about it right now, compared to like me coming up, we got a lot of people that's like established right now. And and like when I say I mean, we have people that's established, but I'm I'm, st I'm talking about really in the limelight right now. Mm -hmm. Like the buddy heels of the world. Like, okay. You get what I'm saying? Like who was really who was like um yeah, we had people that may have been from the islands that was in the the league before or whatever, but he really like made a stamp, like this is where I'm from. Um this is my pride, this is everything. And we got like Jazz Chisholm play for the Miami Marlins. You get what I'm saying? That's my dog too. You know okay, what I mean? indeed, yeah, indeed, yeah, bro. Yeah, that's my dog. Clay too. Thompson. Like, Clay Thompson. <laughs> you, you see that? You see him rapping right now. So like, so like the tide, the tide is like, it, it, it's a good change in a sense because everybody that was glamorous when we was growing up, like they was, you know. Okay, so my thing is right. I'm bred, born, and raised in Miami, Florida, right? Mm -hmm. And you know, we talk off camera about uh, about the Bahamian influence on Miami. Mm -hmm. I, for one, myself, have been to the Bahamas, right. and and when I went there, I couldn't help but walk around the neighborhood, and I'm like, God damn it, this looks just like Miami, but yeah, it looks like yeah. over town. Fact, fact. Talk about that influence, bro. Um, well, you know, really and truly, if you know, like you know, I, if you know the history behind Miami in a sense, like you know. It was like a lot of Bahamians that came over here through the Coconut Grove situation mm -hmm. and that built up Miami. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? You know, uh, me and Butler got swag. Got, we, went, we, went to, we went to the Bahamas one time for a show. And, um, you know, we one of my homeboys, Selected 14, shout out to you, you know, DJ in the Bahamas or whatever. So, like, we was, like, chilling in, and, like, we was, like, through one of the hoods, like, he's from over there. And so I, we, we, we chilling or whatever. So I, I, told, I told Butler, I said, man, look around. I said, well, where it feel like you at? He's like, boy, I'm in the city right now. For real, You understand know what I'm saying? It was For like, it's, it's the same type of vibe. It's like, it looked the same. It's the same thing. But you know, like, like you know, like, even like the, the Miami culture and the, and the, and the um, like with the, the conk fritters and the, and the, you know, the conk salads conk of the world. Salad. You know what I'm saying? Indeed, like, bro. You know, that's all, like, you even down know. to the dancing or whatever, like, that's sticking and rolling. Yeah. To be honest with you, if you look at, if you look at, like, my, my my parents like the way they danced back in the day. Mm -hmm. They just stomp their feet. They just pick it up fast now. Gotcha. You get what I'm saying? But it's the same. It's the same move. Gotcha. It's the same everything. So I know like it was all we all won. You understand Indeed. what I'm saying, Indeed, bro? You know I have a lot of friends in the city or whatever. Like um, you ask them like 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 your old boy whatever. My my, my old boy Bahamian. You know it, it's a lot of that. So you know, it's a lot yeah. of people that bred, bone, and raised in Miami with mm -hmm. Bahamian. Uh, background in them. Many of them know it, many of them don't know it. But uh, if you look at the earlier days of Miami, and if you look at the building structures, you would know that Bahamians built Miami. Right. Nobody else but Bahamians right. built Miami right. in the earlier days of Miami. Right. So, um, you know, we mentioned earlier uh, about about your brother, you know? Right. Yeah. That's one of the reasons why I know you, bro. Right, yeah. Because yeah, your big right, brother, man, right, you know, he used right, to take right. me to these little chicks' right. house. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, yeah, he stayed. Yeah, yeah. He stayed. Come on, bro. Yeah. yeah Come on, yeah, bro. Let's right, go, you know. Right, right. And he used to take me to the little female house, man. Right. And um, I miss him, bro. And um, elaborate on this story for a bit, if you might. Yeah, man. Well, you know, that's my big brother. That, But he he the reason why I'm over here right now. Mm -hmm. You know, when he, when he, when he, when he came over here, or whatever his whole goal was like, you know, I want my, I want my little brother to move in with me, you know, and, and uh, have a better opportunity at life, you know, and on this side or whatever. So, like when I came over here or whatever, like we moved together, or whatever, we develop a good relationship or whatever, you know, because like growing up in the Bahamas, like we was kind of like, you know, it's the age difference, you know, I want to do this, he want to do that, same thing with the rap and the reggae, you know, like you know, but yeah, man, like, but yeah, so yeah. So, um, me and you, we go back about a dub right now, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Something close. Mm -hmm. Something close, man. And um, as we spoke off the air the other day about one of the times where we went to a studio that was in a little strip mall of Hollywood Boulevard. And I think, no, I think it was 441 in Hollywood where it's a Walmart right now, man. Right, yeah. So, yeah, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's the Millennium Mall, I think it's called. Yeah, yeah. They had a booth inside there, yeah. Yeah, man. So, like, I, it was, 
Go ahead, yeah, bro. Yeah, I remember it was like it was me, you, uh, my brother, mm -hmm. Edwin, um, his child's mother, his children's mother, and Checkmate. Indeed. Checkmate the Greek, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and yeah. I never, I never forgot that, man, because I can't remember what you said, boy, but all I remember is you ripped that, boy, I'm trying to tell you. That's all I remember, you know? Hey, man, all of us was ripping back then. You know, we were young, we were hungry. Yeah. And, you know, we loved the music game. Mm -hmm. You know, right now, these days, you know, you are the proud owner of the label right now. Bro. Yeah. Tell the people what's the name of your label, bro. Uh, DVD Entertainment. DVD mm -hmm. Entertainment. And uh, what's your role in the label? Yeah, man. Well, I, you know, well, I'm a co CEO, you know. So, like, we do everything. We do everything. Like, what we really, what we really focus on right now is like artist services, you know. Like, what we do, like, at nowadays, like, you know, we got a lot of people that's inspired to rap, but it's, it's, it's so much that goes on, goes along with it, you know. Like, you gotta, gotta market yourself. You gotta, mm -hmm. you gotta, um, you gotta, you gotta shoot videos. You need photo shoots, but, well, what we do over here is like. As an artist, the only, all you, the only thing that you would have to do is make your music. Mm -hmm. All the, all the extra stuff, we take care of that. So that's our main focus over here. You know what I mean? Indeed, and indeed. I mean, we have our own artists that's on the label. Uh, you know, we got Willie Waters. Mm -hmm. You know, Two uh, G I'm a G Two. We got Chet Made the Great. Mm -hmm. Butler got Swag. Mm -hmm. got Island Boy Stormy. Indeed. You know, so like, and everybody got their own style. So They're definitely versatile. All of them are. They're good artists, and mm -hmm. if anybody who wanna, uh, anybody who's looking for studio time, or looking for a real label to be with or whatnot, you know, they can come over here and holler at yeah, man. DBD Entertainment. Right. Definitely, mm -hmm. you know, this has been a real good interview, bro. You yeah. know, I think that uh, I think that the people is gonna wanna know more about you yeah. in the coming days, yeah, bro. Man. So let, 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 let's know. do a part two. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely, definitely. Man, I want to you know. touch on a lot of other stuff. You know what I'm saying? We'll be going to get back to that. Anything you, know you want to let the people know, you know, to be looking out for? Man, or you got to look you... out for this project that we got coming out right now. And the time is now. You know what I'm saying? Devil Ford is on it. The time is now. We got everybody. It's like, it's a compilation album. Every, all the artists is on it. They, they got, everybody got a song with one another. It's something hot. We got a new, a new video that has dropped the past week. We then we then came up a little over ten thousand views in one week, in bro. One week, one week, one baby. Week, man, one week. So y'all go check it out. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You could go on the DVD promotions, uh, subscribe to the DVD promotions YouTube page. But that song called Squad Five is going up right now. You know what I'm saying? But like, yeah, man, we gonna we gonna drop a part two to this the same thing. Cause there's a lot of things we ain't touch on. I want to get deeper about a lot of other stuff. You know what I'm saying, but. My word felt like one to pass the praise. Watch where I step like walking past the grave. I tell myself I'm just a dash away. From the day I came and I left, ripping like I passed away. I do my eulogy myself. Yeah, just that 84, babe.